Coming up, as Ole Buhile adds, I'm a piano star and Adidas sponsored athlete to his growing list of accolades. We catch up with Azola Matros as the 21 year old returns from fitness. And if you missed it, we show you how some of the best under 21 boys and girls performed at Pirates Cup 2024. Because this is Up the Bucks. Rilebu Hilemu Fugeng recently took to the Orlando Stadium pitch not for a game, but to star in Focalistic's new hit Amapiano track, Pressure. Would our Orlando Pirates FC Diamond crack under pressure? Nah, no worries. Diamonds come from pressure. Batate Rilebu Hile, Batate Bakania. Show them what happens when Adidas, music and football do a collab. Well, today is such an exciting day. We are in day one of a three-day shoot where we really will be exploring the mix between football and fashion. And we are running a beautiful campaign in the lifestyle division, which really celebrates the heritage of our terrace footwear. And we will be doing that with using music. So it's such a beautiful day. We will really get to lean onto the South African heritage of football, but also the Amapiano genre, which is so popular in South Africa. So we've created a song that really speaks to the brand idea of negating pressure and doing that in a fun way and of course in a historic and iconic uh, stadium such as Orlando Stadium. I mean the inspiration for the song was to kind of remove people from like pressure situations you know to tell people it's gonna be all good you've practiced enough you know I think everything is about pressure these days let's take it back to the backyard when no one had pressure you know and that's the brief that we got even from Adidas with the global campaign so it was very nice to kind of slip in my life slip in my life into that you know because we all relate to that being part of history being here feels so crazy you know being actually at Orlando Stadium in Orlando. It's crazy, you know, it's a moment in history for me. I'm excited to kind of see it through and, and see the complete, you know, history piece. I feel like we're making a history piece. Yeah, it was a great experience meeting people different from your career, you know, meeting musicians, knowing how they live, being surrounded by celebrities from other departments, you know, just a great surrounding, you know. I feel like it makes me feel motivated, you can see, and very appreciated at Adidas because they've just signed me, so I feel very appreciated, and this is a, a good welcome, and yeah, it was a really, very good day, it treated me well, yeah, everything went well. I mean, as mentioned, the terrorist campaign really focuses on our footwear that started from the football field, and what better way to honor the football legacy than in an iconic and really momentous um, stadium, and of course our relationship with Adidas and Orlando Pirates has spun for many years, and what better way to fuse lifestyle and football um, in one music video, and I think this is the best place to host it. Ole Bafetu, Azula Matrose, keep pushing up the parks, up the parks. Mabakania, if you've been wondering where 21-year-old midfielder Azola Matros was this season and how he was coping with his return to full fitness, here he is to tell you all about it in his own words from his early days growing up in Kebera to his first steps into professional football and then becoming a buck in 2022. I'm from Eastern Cape. There's a township being called Woma. Yeah, it was a very tough community whereby there, there were less opportunities to make it through being a professional footballer because there's only one team that is playing professional there, which is cheaper. First of all, I was in a footballer growing up because I was doing athletics at school, so I was good at running. So growing up, I was fast and I was quick. So yeah, as a much as I was playing football, so I also got into football and I used my skills and my talent to make it through. Before joining the Pirates, being Jala Lapea Woma in the township, in a team being called the Real Madrid, which is, was playing in the amateur division. So from there, I was being scouted by Chipa under 18. They scouted me and they invited me to play for their under 18s. And then I played there a couple of months and then brought me in the first team to do some trials. And then I trialed there for four days and then they signed me. Uh, in my first season playing for Chippa United, uh, which is I played 14 games. And then before, I think before the last three games of that season, that's where Pirates signed me. They signed me before that season ended. Yeah, at first I didn't believe it because I thought as much as I was going to stay in Chippa and grow because it was my first season. So I wasn't like having expectation to play for another club, most especially this big club. So I wanted to, to still grow in, at Chippa and to learn more. But unfortunately, things didn't go that way. So when Coach Michael, because Coach Michael told me that 
Orlando Pirates is interested in signing me, what, what, what. And then he asked me, is it a good idea for me to go there? And then I said, anything for me, I take it. Naturally, I was playing as a right winger because uh, it's more easier when you play into, into the right when you're left. So it's just to cut inside and connect or cut inside and com combine and then go forward. So for me, playing as a left here in the TDC, it's not challenging, but it is because every time I have the ball, it's more likely like I have to cross or I have to combine instead of like shooting. That's why I, like, I end up getting like more chances to shoot because playing as in the left as a left is something else. I used to look up to Luvio Memela, who was playing here, but now I'm looking up to Bernardo Silva. The reason why I was looking up to Luvio Memela, I liked the way he played, and he was also a left, he's also a left footer. And yeah, he was also playing, I think he was also playing as a winger, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, good advice is to stay positive, don't be negative. Because, yeah, just be patient and you have to wait for your time because sometimes you may feel like your time is not coming or you're just rushing things. Just have to pay, you just have to be patient and do what's the best for you. Don't do drugs and don't drink alcohol, all of those things that can take you away from where you want to be and where you see yourself in. Yeah, for now, I would like to see myself playing more games getting confidence back because it's been, it's been so long for me since I was injured. So I'm trying to get to that point where I can feel that, yeah, I'm being Azola now. I'm capable of doing this, I'm capable of doing this. For now, I'm still building my momentum to go, to go higher and then aim for the bigger things. But for now, the objective is to get more games as much as I can and learn from them and then take it there. The annual Under-21 Pirates Cup always starts with a full-day workshop for the coaches of the participating clubs, where Pirates coaches share the latest trends and the club's partners educate on what is needed at the highest level. Protea Fire and Ice hosted the event and the Pirates Cup draw. The reason we're here today is for us to help and facilitate the Orlando Pirates workshop that took place in our beautiful establishment, you know, with the official accommodation partner of Orlando Pirates. So I'm glad that we were able to showcase our beautiful establishment and that today was a successful day. I think it's something really unique. The organization of the Pirates Cup is doing with the coaches. I think that everybody is leaving the room a little bit better coaches, better persons, and, and with the motivation to to continue improving their, their teams. Hi guys, Elizabeth Mazuisa, University of Johannesburg. Keep watching Up the Bugs. Baka Baka. 64 teams in total over the Easter weekend, battling not only for the staggering prize money on offer, but also the chance to be scouted by Orlando Pirates, because Pirates Cup is where talent meets opportunity. Pirates Cup is a good initiative because as the slogan says, it's where the talent meets the opportunity. We get to play with the legs of Supersport and Orlando Pera, where our talent can be scouted, as there are less, lesser opportunities that side. So when you come in this side, at least we can, some will be taken, hopefully, at the end of this tournament. We must be very thankful and grateful to the organizers of such a tournament. It's a unique tournament. I've been to tournaments before uh, based on my age in football, uh, but this one is different. Uh, and a good example is uh, the production of players that have come out of this tournament. I cannot ignore the fact that this tournament has produced through the School of Excellence, I'm hoping that more players come from this tournament, get an opportunity and grow their careers. And I want to thank the Orlando Paris management for such a thought uh, and all the sponsors that are here. Great tournament and more players, I'm sure, with the likely that I've seen. There's some talent, and uh, let's hope they get the opportunity that they deserve. This tournament for me, it brings uh, good memories for me. Orlando Perez, they saw my son here, and the rest, is, they say it's a history. Yeah, my son was playing for school. He played this tournament, and lucky for him, Perez saw him, and then he ended up playing for Orlando Perez, DDC team. Today he's playing for first team. So this tournament for me, ish, uh, I hope my, my players, they can learn something or they can show their talent to say, man, here I am, can you just give me a chance? 
We believe that as Orlando Pirates, we create this platform to give opportunities to players that come from the, the furthest of places in the country. As we have alluded in the coaches' workshop on the 24th, that the bigger question that we've always uh, opened up to a larger audience in the football space was, oh, what do we term a ready player? In the Pirates' Cup, I'll be honest with you, we don't anticipate to find a ready player, but we anticipate to find players that show enough potential to then come into our system where they are refined through coaching, amongst other things, and all the other aspects that support the player so that they get to the full potential. We'll look at players that play above themselves and try and identify with the philosophy of the club and the game model that would have been at the current moment. And obviously, the game evolves, and so would we as a club in terms of profiling players. It means a lot because they are from Township, they are boy from Val, and they are at least... Uh, we like to thank uh, Orlando Pirates for this opportunity so that these boys, they can showcase their talent. So at least coming here, it's a great exposure for them. It's a very imperative role that it plays because this is where teams get to find the next generation of players. And in, in our last participation, uh, we've always had one or two players who was picked here and went on to play professional. So the talent would, would always vary. I mean, you are always going to have teams that are bringing players just to try out, have fun. But you're also going to have teams that are coming with players who are elite ready. So it's an athletic mix of, of talent. But for sure, there are great players from various teams, uh, some of them from the GDL, some of them from the uh, Mutsepe Foundation. So it's a mix of talent. And I hope that the scout will be able to, to see fresh talent uh, going for going forward. I did not want to expect too much because I know Pirates Cup is a difficult tournament as it's under 21 and we are still young. But uh, we performed well considering that we are still young, we are still developing, but it was a good game. We played well. As Coach said, we still have the nerves because it's our first game in the, in the tournament. Yeah, look, I think every year it gets better and better. Shout out to Aquile for keeping the athletes hydrated, you know, Opo keeping all of us connected, and definitely Vodacom for making sure as well that we are connected and we've got everything at, at the tip of our hands, you know. I mean, like they say, Paris Cup, where talent meets opportunity, and that's why we love it, that's why we're here. Yeah, there's a lot, there's a lot, my brother. There's a lot of improvement. Even me, I'm, I'm, I'm so surprised when I came here. I see, it's like, it's a, it's a big tournament, this one, guys. I'm telling you, after four years, three years, it's going far, this tournament. The women's division of Pirates Cup was the strongest it's ever been, with the quality, passion and football displayed, worthy of the 40,000 rand being fought for. Our expectations is to win, but it's also to learn from the bigger teams. I think we had to gain experience. It's a very big tournament, so I think it's going to be able, it's also going to give us motivation as women to be able to do what we're good at. We're expecting a, a very good tournament. It's the first time participating in this tournament. You don't get so much exposure when it comes to women's football. So when this kind of tournament comes, we get so excited because at least we can showcase, like I said before, we can showcase our talent and gives the young players the opportunity as well. So yeah, we're excited to be part of this, of this uh, initiative and be part of this tournament. It's a good thing because you also have players that train with the first team when the other players go, um, went to the camp, which is we, we've got a, a good squad. It's also good for them, the younger ones. It's a good tournament, especially for, for the girls because we don't normally get to such tournaments, but uh, we are happy to be part of the Paris Cup. It's incredibly important, playing at a high level against uh, teams that are making their way and helping out women's football. To get high quality games is sometimes hard but also to be able to, to see how good our football is getting in this country. We're just hoping to improve from our last few tournaments and win another tournament. We won the Sassel Champions Championship pre-season, so we're looking to keep moving forward with that. We've brought down some first-team players and we're hoping to improve our squad a bit. I think it's very exciting, especially for, for us, because I think we have a lot of good players. It's just that many scouts don't get to it. So this is an opportunity for most players to, to be seen by people, because we have a lot of good players. 
if we want to pick up the, the intensity, pick up the brand of women's football. But every team is important. Um, you can have the lowest of the teams coming in. They're important as well because they've got some unique talents coming in as well. So the more the merrier, the more talent being exposed, the more. And uh, it's a win for us for women's football as well. I think it's an amazing opportunity, especially knowing that Pirates is a big team, you know, giving ladies a platform to express who we are in the football industry and to actually show our talents, to show men that we can actually play football. We are from Cape Town in Kukuleju. We had to come because last time we were here, we lost to the semi-final. But for this year, we felt that we need experience coming back here since now we've got a Hollywood franchise. So very much exciting. It makes us to want to come each and every year. Uh, we're also hoping that there'll be one or two boys that could be scouted. As we come from Cape Town, Ch opportunities are very less in Cape Town, especially to the Black Township teams. So hence, we are here today. As a former player, I try my level best to, to build the, the next Norman Smith, James Mutibi, Ruben Klute. Because the academy is from, from Northern Cape. Uh, we are from the JTG region in Kuruman. Kuruman is fast in terms of football. Every week, every day, there's football. So as a soccer player and an ex-player, I find it is important for me to go and go to those towns and unfold those uh, disadvantaged areas that doesn't get the opportunities. It's the next Bafana Bafana players here, next under 23 players here. So it's, it's a great opportunity. We have scouts all over. The objective is not to win the tournament. The objective is to, for them to be seen and, 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 and signed by other, other teams. The women's final was a clash of the titans as former Banyana Banyana captain Janine Van Vick's JVW Girls Football Club took on the best women's football club in Africa, Mamelodi Sundowns. The match ended 1-1 and after an enthralling penalty shootout, it was JVW FC who won the spot kick battle and the title. I think the girls were very determined to win. They wanted it more. Even though they didn't show up, but the deep down inside, you know that we didn't come to the final to lose it. Two big games, Chess Galaxy, Sundowns, and you came on top. I mean, she did part of ourselves, huh? We, we did well. I mean, what, what, what can you ask from the girls? They put their all in there. They should just go home and rest and you know, sink it in, enjoy it, feel it, and be part of themselves. The Pirates Cup Under-21 Boys Final was University of Johannesburg against Teltonica Amate FC, with UJ coming from 1-0 down to win 2-1 and remain undefeated in Pirates Cup 2024, and of course, taking home 80,000 Rand in prize money. The, the slogan says it all. Um, there's plenty of opportunities here, and if the boys grab it, they, they, they're bound to succeed. Taking a look at our team, a team that had a very little budget, came from the dusty streets of Val, and here they are today, they've gotten to the final. You know, a few mistakes here and there, we could have taken it. You know how football goes. So it's an amazing opportunity for young boys and girls, and I really want to thank Orlando Pirates, the, the sponsors as well, for hosting such an amazing tournament. I've been here for the past three years, and it never disappoints. The month of April is special to Orlando Pirates FC and all South Africans because it's the month that we celebrate Freedom Day. On the 27th of April, 30 years ago, the first national elections where every South African from every race group was for the first time in our country's history allowed to vote and apartheid ended once and always and human rights returned to all. Uh, the 27th of April is such an important day in the South African calendar. Uh, as sports people, it's also important to us that we remember this day and remember that we are in South Africa in the society where we're coming from segregation, we're coming from uh, the minority rule into a democratic uh, society. Now, in the PSL, the current leadership, we must be cognizant of the amount of work that they've done, the ones that are there and the ones that are not there, and the sacrifices that they've made to take this league to be the top 10 in the world, to be the best in Africa. And so for me, it's a day where we remember our history, we remember the current situation, and we appreciate the leaders of the current and the leaders of the past. Uh, freedom Day, Freedom Day, River Spring of South Africa, Hope of Nat, everything is a mash up of our government, everything is a sharp of one, was South Africa. And I will have Mandela, Toto Tetare, Ridicent Sony, know everything, but what are the grand three fifty, 
the pension at the and then we are going to live on our Akira Chalita. Freedom Day is very important to me, very important to us, our people. The sacrifices that our people made, you know, not only the individuals that sacrificed their lives, the fight, but they made sure that we are free. They made sure that we are free from the segregation that was selected by a few. And here we are today, enjoying the freedom. Hey, Freedom Day, like in Mamani, is all in a Freedom Day, Kumbulang in a scatter apartheid. My I feel like it's a holiday that we should celebrate as Africans because it's where individuals fought for us and nations to break the chains that we're in and segregation. So I feel like it's a holiday that we really need to take serious as South Africans because it's where we got the freedom. Yeah, for the upcoming uh, election, please, everyone must go and vote. Uh, it's around the corner now, it's only a few days left, a few weeks left. Uh, please, uh, let's wake up and go and vote. It's, it's the right thing to do. And then remember, it's our 30th freedom that we are in there. For me, Freedom Day means sacrifice. A lot of people sacrifice their lives, sacrifice their livelihoods to make sure that we live the way we live in today. It means perseverance. A lot of stalwarts persevered throughout the hardships that they, they enjoyed to make sure that we have the freedom that we have today. Uh, it means love, and we are grateful to all the heroes who fought for our freedom. We live the life we live now, and we owe it to them that we use it well because they lived through hardships and make sure that we have the freedom that we have now. I can vote for whoever I want, I can speak whatever language I'm comfortable with, and I have rights, so we all to them. Your Oliver Tambos, your Walter Sisulus, your Gavin Beckys, and your Nelson Mandela's, your Chris Hannes, everyone, all the stewards that fought for our freedom, we owe it to them. That's what Freedom Day means to me. I don't be as I'm a South African, which is was which is be free as much as song as what you slang on it. Now we do not want our yam. The message that I have to our supporters, our fans throughout the country, make sure that you, you go out there and you vote, make sure that you go out there and you, you make yourselves, you know, and your people proud by, by, by voting and enjoy the day. I feel like you should go and vote. Everyone has a choice now, so I feel like you should make the choice right and do something that's gonna make you happy. Party supporters must go and vote. Party supporters must fill the stadiums. We appreciate them. Uh, they must vote and be safe, and there must be peace. People fought for our freedom, and we have to use the right to vote in the right way. We have to use that to vote for, uh, for whoever we think will bring change to our country. So I encourage everyone and everyone in the corner of South Africa to use this time to go and vote and make a change in our country. For more information on Orlando Pirates Football Club, your first port of call should be the official website, orlandopiratesfc.com. Like us on facebook.com forward slash Orlando Pirates. Follow your club on Twitter and Instagram at Orlando Pirates for the official breaking news straight to your tablet or phone. And subscribe to our YouTube channel, Pirates TV, for all the latest behind-the-scenes content.